first of all, of course. Uh, to, you know, find out how long all this would take. Oh, no, no, no. It, it's for things like that, uh, combat video-wise, whatever you can do is good. Whenever you get it done is great. Just, frankly, if you get one, you'll be the first of the fourth. You're the fourth person I have, fourth, fourth new person or that I've asked to help with this, and no one's even made it to video one. So you make it to video one, you're doing great. <laughs> okay. I don't think that'll be a problem. Uh, so, uh, no, but, uh, so, very basic move is how to orbit something. Easiest orbit is a strafe orbit. So I tend to strafe left, so I am strafing around this asteroid. And then you apply throttle forward and backward in order to maintain your distance. Okay. That's just one of the simplest moves. So this is useful when, say, there's someone who's target focused and you want to blow them to pieces, but you know there's other people around you, so you don't want to. So you want to keep moving a little bit. Uh, so, that's, so, that's, so that's that's the most basic version of that. The next move is to orbit via via strafe up and pitch. So instead of instead of so you strafe up and pitch instead of. Impact. I'm it's much less precise. And then, are you familiar with what uh, the TV on, the TV on your screen is? Uh, define TVI. Uh, total velocity indicator. Maybe. Uh, so you're going straight forward. You see your gun cross dead center, right? The four lines in the. Yes. And then you see the square with rounded corners with the two lines going up in it, right? Yes. That is your TVI. That is the actual direction your ship is going. So when you're, say, going around asteroids, as long as your TVI is pointing to something in the clear, you will not hit anything. Okay. So that's, that's good. So that's part of. The, so basically, say your example would be like doing doing just a a strafe, a lateral strafe orbit. So you're chasing someone. You're chasing someone around an asteroid. And just make sure your TVI is just a little to the left. And you know you're good. And you can focus on uh, aiming and hitting the guy. So for example, I am Sam chasing you. Boom. So I am strafing left. I know my TVI is super clear off. I know I'm fine and I can just do that. Does that make sense? Yep. And then one other thing. Uh, one additional trick when you're among asteroids, when, you're, when your ship's already at nearly full speed, so, for example, when you're circle strafing around someone, sometimes it's faster to roll 90 degrees than it is to strafe up. Uh, basically because your thrusters are already at full speed in that direction, they have no spool up, there's no spool up time on them. So sometimes, let me find this ch big chunk of asteroids, a little chunk of little asteroids over here. So for example, I'm strafing a bit here. I'm firing, facing against someone, so I, stra so I did a 90 degree roll to strafe up. Just a little trick. Instead of basically hitting boost, pushing strafe up, waiting for my, th waiting for my thrusters to spool up, Uh, do you know how to move your shield around, bro? bro? Um, <clears throat> um, not with, not the top of my head. Okay, so on the number pad, if you press 8, your shields will move forward. If you press 4, they'll move to the left, 6 to the right, 2 to the rear, and 5 resets them. Okay. So, one thing... So combat kind of has there's kind of two things with combat. So right now we're in basic position, we're ch we're charging each other. So this would be the start of 
and then you get to closest point of approach and then usually one of two things happen. You either end up doing what we're doing now, which is circle strafing each other. So we're basically just orbiting each other. Or you end up going back and forth on someone, basically. So you basically are jousting. Charging, turning around, charging like a medieval joust. Yeah, I hear that's a bad thing. Uh, if you're kicking someone's butt doing it, it's fine. <laughs> as long as you're winning. It's the important thing. Uh... What I would say is almost every technique is useful or breaking or breaking a rule is useful in some case. As long as you know you're doing it and know the risk you're taking. Uh, the example would be, okay, let's go back to the circle strafing situation. Okay, so I'm going to... So right now, you are pitch turning around me, which is one of the worst things you could possibly do because you just left a broadside. Now usually when you're circle strafing, both people are kind of in line with each other. So right now, we're level. Uh, you're in a super hornet. You always want to be level with pretty much anything smaller, more nimble than you. Now what I would say, is, on the other hand, I'm a saber. What I can do if I want is... I'm trying to set it up right. So I can I can turn ninety degree I can turn ninety degrees on that. And as long as I as long as I keep my nose on you, eh, I don't worry actually I won't worry about that trick now. But needless to say, every rule you break at a certain point. There's a there's a reason to break it at a at, at a point in time. Does that okay. make sense? And there's one and because this game is incredible, I strafed up instead of down for some reason. Sorry about that. Uh, it's very rock paper scissors. So, got three moving shields. Okay, and then uh, with gun targeting, there tends to be two different types of t two different types of uh, pips. Uh, so, you basically see the square that's the that line up to hit hit to hit me with. Yeah. So that's your predicted impact points. So default is what's called le uh, lag pips. So you put the you put the square where you want to fire. Basically, it's a little when it works, it helps you to target areas of the ship a little better. Uh, for example, trying to do hit do cockpit shots. Okay, that's you embarrassing. Blew up before you got anywhere close to me, that was kind of weird. Uh, this game is a little weird sometimes. Yeah, and I just came out of that without a scratch. It's a little weird. I was uh, I was full back strafe left in uh, boost <laughs> when I died. So, uh, what was I saying? So if you go to uh, main menu, so hit escape options, game settings. Okay. Uh, one, you'll see cockpit sub audio subtitles. Yep. You want to click yes on that. Okay. So that'll mean that if someone's hitting your shields, you'll there's a there's a chance you'll get a subtitle showing up what it is, just to give you an extra hint. Only a chance. I don't know if it always works. Usually I'm so focused that I can't tell. But or actually you can shoot me and I could tell you. Uh, the one below that uh, below that is uh, flight flight pip reticle change. Uh, sorry, lead re lead pip reticle. Default is no. You switch to yes. Okay. Hit, hit reset. Oh no, sorry, reset reset them all. Uh, uh, yeah, hit yes, and then just leave. And then you'll see that instead, the square, uh, what you want to do is you want to put your gun cross on the, squ on the square. It, I don't have one anymore. No, 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 no. There's a, there should be a square it's next to... No, no, no. The, the square follows the ship. Not you. Yes. It, okay, there it is. Yeah, you put your gun cross on the square instead. Just a different way of doing it. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and hit me a couple times, and, see, and I'll see if the subtitle still shows up. Sorry. I'll, I'll make it. Under fire. Shields, recharging. Yeah, I don't get any subtitle comment. Huh. I hear it, but I don't. Huh. Okay. Uh, 
There is a there is a key command where you can switch between the two with the button switch. Uh, I do have that enabled. Uh, I am one of the biggest uh, lag lag pip partisans in the game. I don't ever use lead pips. Pretty much never do. Yeah. Uh, okay. Which one's lag pip and which is lead pip? Uh, lag pip is the one is the default. Okay. So it's where basically the pip lags the target. Uh, in the mode you're in right now, the pip is in front in front of the tar in fr the pip's in front of me. So, some people find them, some of them easier and harder than others. Okay. Uh, there's also ways to shift power around. Doesn't quite do that much right now. But one of the ways you do that is. So it should be number. Key. Yeah, it's one, two, and three. I don't know how to reset it though. Just kind of always fiddle with them until someone gets in the middle. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what the, the key command is. Well, if there's a good button for that. And there is some key rebinding I'm going to recommend for you, too. Oh, it's zero. It is what it should be. Yep. Ah, uh, zero on keyboard, yeah. Not on the numpad, it's on the main keys, though. Yeah, main, yeah, not numb. Uh, so on the numpad... Ah, uh, it does not. There's also a way to turn off your reactor. Uh, and how familiar... Yeah, when is turning things off useful? Uh, that is what I was about ready to get into. So, okay, see when you're, okay. On target, you can see, okay, so your HUD that displays target. I'm going to come, I'm going to come to a halt. Okay, so there is, uh, there's the name, there's my name, there's distance, and below that there's E, M, I, R, and C, S, right? Um, Yes. So EM is electromagnetic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my shields off. And what that will do is that will actually spike my EM. Weapon system. Shields recharging. Okay. Still at zero. Engines. System. Okay. Right now it's bugged. But basically, you can turn your power plant down to cut down on EM. Uh, but you can't completely turn it off usually or else your IR will shoot the roof. Uh, engines also affect IR, guns control IR, countermeasures do as well. All of those are based, and then all, and there's also cross section. So right now, the way you're facing me, our cross sections are the smallest. Yeah, it's, it's stuck on zero 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 for me, so I can't oh, do anything. Oh, I know it, that part's just fucked up and bugged. I'm just, I'm just trying to go through the base theory super quick. Okay. Um, and tell you what's really going on because the display is bunked or missiles are really junked. So, certain ships have cross-section reducing armor. Saber does, Ghost does, and Mustang Delta do. So that means it's harder to lock on uh, cross-section missiles, which are the ones that look like little Wi-Fi symbols when they're fired. They're the hardest to evade. Okay. Uh, but, depending on your outline, depending on the strength of your cross-section, you have to get closer to lock on. Uh, they're not... They're not really caught by any countermeasures, so you generally have to strafe to avoid or orbit an asteroid. Okay, and how do you choose between firing one or the other type? Uh, right now, not too much. It's just it's which ones you've loaded in your ship. Um, okay. The meta right now is Tempest 2s. If you can have size 2 missiles, if you have size 1... None of them are really very good. Uh, there's some IR and there's some EM missiles. So IR shows this candle. Uh, your flares, flares dodge, dodge that. Chaff works. 
should theoretically work against CS missiles and against EM missiles. Uh, and then just to the right of your gun cross, you'll see uh, your countermeasures. I don't know if you use countermeasures much. Yeah, I okay. I push them, but it it usually works. It usually it, works. It works for the first pass. Uh, so I'm gonna. Uh, oh, you have you have heat seekers. That'll be that'll be better use. So fire four heat seekers at me. Right. Here's the funny thing. Oh wait. Shot anyway. Okay. Okay. I was about to say it's not locking on, but it decided to fire anyway. And you know, and then you know about how every time you press it, you you add another missile to the lock, and then you then press then then press and hold to fire, right? Yeah, the UI is bugged though. David didn't show me anything. I uh, didn't. No, that's junk. Uh, try it again. Because I didn't get any warnings, so that yeah, was weird. Yeah, coming up, and I could just and fire it. Uh, go ahead and fire it, and we'll see if it... Oh, it just... It didn't even fire, it just appeared right in front of you. Okay. And it's... Uh, it's just blindly firing. Yeah, it's not like... Oh, you might have dumb fires on. That might be it. There, There's one There's one type of missile that you don't lock, they just, they're just rockets firing forward. So you might have those. Yeah, it was working until... Just now. I think oh. it might be related to the other one, maybe. Okay. The other bug. But uh, the way missiles are set up now, they get, they'll get probably three pa at least three passes past you, but the countermeasures only work for one pass. Uh, in some previous patches, when you dropped countermeasures, you actually disappeared from radar. So what you would do is, to evade someone, you'd fly backwards, drop your countermeasures, then you'd disappear off their radar. So, if you ever see that happening, that's yeah, why. I, wasn't that supposed to be a thing? I remember with. Uh, uh it, thing is, it's thing is, it's really powerful. So, they put it in occasionally, and then they take it out. It's just a. Until the game's in beta, they won't try to balance that part, that portion. I think they want to have something like that in in the game, and the mechanics are in there. It's just the strength of things, basically. Yeah. So. EM and IR is, mm -hmm. if I turn those things off, mm -hmm. if a missile's flying at me, will the missile just lose its lock, or how does that work? Uh, if, you're, if your value drops low, below ambient, possibly. I've never seen that happen. Usually it's that if your value, if the value's, what you do is you, when you think someone's doing something, you basically go quiet. And if your value isn't high enough over ambient, that you can't lock on. For example, let me get far like enough. Like right now, I have IR at two. I mean, it's at twenty. Mm -hmm. So in theory, right? Mhm. Mm and then, uh, do you know how to look backwards? Alt Z. Okay. Oh God, that messes with Shadow Boy so much. I should change that key binding. Uh, one thing is, whenever you're running away from someone, never run away. Never show your back to a target. Uh, the example would be... What if your what if your rear shields are at full, but your front shields are down? You shift your shields to front. Okay. Uh, part of it is because, for example, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run away from... Okay, you attack me. I'm going to run away from behind. I'm just kind of moving a little bit. I don't really know what's going on, but you can hit me pretty solidly. Yeah, because you're flying in more as a straight line. Well, I don't know where you're firing, so I don't know how to dodge. Oh. Now, if I fly backwards... I'm right behind you. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I turned around. So I'm right now, right now I am doing what is called an arcing zoom. I'm going to run out of bullets before you die. Yep. But I can see where you're firing so I can be evasive. Is what it comes down to. Particularly with lasers, not that important, but with ballistics, it's really important. Because Particularly when you're in a saber, ballistic hits will just fry you for the most part. Uh, yeah, is it my imagination or do the Hornets 
main guns not do much. Uh, which, uh, are you in a base hornet with two badgers? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not that strong. Uh, what you want to do is you want to rent... There's a couple different setups you can have. Uh, let's see. And then there's all... Uh, for back for running backwards, there's also what is the... It is a skidded zoom. So see how your pip is spinning? Yeah. What I'm doing is I'm, is I'm strafing up and rolling and rolling. Just enough to keep my TVI indicator stable on my compu on my screen. Doing that, you basically do a little corkscrew, and so it causes it like causes this. yeah. If you know what to do. Well, that's the end of the map. Yeah, that is. My right, guns go. Do I not have any guns now? Weird. Well, like this, you mean? Uh, go straight away from me. Yeah, straight ahead? Okay. Actually, I think all my guns are gone. Maybe it didn't. Maybe I did do a crappy job doing something else. Yeah, say love you. Self destruct. Initiated. Yeah, I can see why people might like having a joystick for something like this. Just tapping the keyboard is not the most comfortable thing. No, it's not, but there's a somewhat advantage to that. That you're... Well, the main thing is you can't you can't dial it in super precisely how much you do of each. Yeah. I used uh, to play a lot of track mania, so I'm used to trying to be precise on the keyboard. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, uh, one thing you can do is so the so the way star citizen work uh no we'll get into that so it, with your default key bindings you can only st strafe you can only straight you can only strafe backwards if you decouple first what i would recommend is that you go into options and key binding Uh, keyboard mouse advanced customization and what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn you're gonna basically have your throttle up and down you're going to have those bound to nothing if that makes sense won't that make landing difficult when the, the, what we're gonna do is we're going to have throttle up and down instead be straight forward and back they have the same strength, same responsiveness. Just what it does, it lets you go backwards. I thought going backwards was just uh, Alt S, I think. Alt S. Let me double check. That is. Yeah, I don't even need to be decoupled. I just hit Alt S in coupled mode, and it goes backwards full speed. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. Rem uh, that was a change I didn't know about. Thanks for catching that. No so, uh, most most joystick most joystick people don't have throttle bound to anything. Uh, usually, you have a sticker throttle bound to straight forward back. Yeah, see, here you are, mm -hmm. going backwards. Okay, so let's see. Do you have a? Is there? Can you set throttle to a hundred and strafe and do straight forward? Should be able to do that. So. So that'll be in decoupled mode then. Not certain how you pull that off exactly. Uh, actually, first I'll explain why why I want you to do this. So I'm going to I'm going to come at you straight on. Okay. Okay. So I'm an easy target. This is jousting, and then I run into you, unless I change change my direction at the last minute. 
there's a there's a basic move called a skidded attack. It's where uh, basically I go at you and I and I strafe just a little to the left and to the right. What the oh. fuck? Well, that didn't work. This is gonna be an embarrassing one to post, but it'll be funny. <laughs> I lost the way. Oh, I lost a whole ship. <laughs> I was being too precise. Yay. Okay. I will do this with a little more strafe. So, basically, you strafe enough that you have a decent distance as you're going around, you don't run into someone, but you can basically shoot around them. If and then you can continue into a circle strafe, basically. Okay. Uh, with a keyboard, with a keyboard mouse, it's a bit harder to do. So, for example, uh, I'm gonna get about five clicks away from you, go straight on you, and then uh, why don't you? And then you'll come at me using full strafe left. Uh, the reason you use left or right is so that you don't have. Uh, G force issues are much less. So come at me going forward with uh, full forward and full strafe, basically. So you're coming to me at a 45 degree angle, which is a little too much strafe. Okay. Uh, the way the game works is if you have 100% throttle and full strafe, forward and strafe left, you come at a 30 degree angle instead of a 45. Because the throttle forward counts as one, f one, according to how the flight computer work, the flight computer works. Throttle full counts as one full. Straight forward counts as one full. Straight left full counts as one full. So, so do you need to be decoupled for this to work? No. What you just need to do is, uh, can you do straight forward? Let me check the key commands on that. I'm trying to get better at keyboard mouse to help people out. Uh, no, if you do the if you do the left alt W, that will be uh, full. That'll be straight forward. Okay. So if you, so, get your throttle set to 100%, and then hit that. And then let me know if it keeps throttle at 100%. If it does yep, that, and at 100, and I'm go it's it's that 197, not 220, but it is going at the right angle. Okay. So yeah. Well. The speed, the speed that you get is only in the direction your ship is facing. So your okay. your actual speed vector is still going to be the maximum. It's just not dead center, but that'll give you a 30 degree angle. So you'll get a little. So you won't get quite as absurd an angle when you're doing a skidded attack on someone. And so the least evasive thing is to go straight at someone. Uh, next evasive is, skid is a skidded attack. Uh, the next group on that is a skidded roll. So what you do is basically do a skidded attack and add in uh, for for a. I'll get farther away and then show you. Okay. Get about five clicks away and show. Okay, so so I am coming at you with a str with a strafe and roll. So you see how my how the pips are spinning? Yeah. So uh, when you do, so. In this case, you strafe, but you strafe up, and then you roll. So with, with what you're doing, you will basically do a skidded attack, except instead of doing left or right, you're going to strafe up. Um, part of the reason you do that is because when you do the roll and, you're, and you pitch up, and you, sorry, strafe up, it basically pulls the nose of your ship towards the center of your spiral. So your nose is, so your gun sight is, is, is on your target. So you can can do so you can do some firing. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out a good hand position for that. It's a little... Yeah, because yeah, you're like W and yeah. That's all. That's left alt W A and spacebar all at once. 
Yes, that would be. Enroll. So, yeah. Curie. <laughs> I'm out of fingers. Uh, the comment usually made is keyboard and mouse. Very good aim, hard to maneuver. <laughs> Joystick, easy to maneuver, hard as hell to hit anything. <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, I can tell why people think it's harder to move like this now. Oh, no, it is. No no one thinks that keyboard mouse is, is not is is not hard to maneuver. And some people do end up changing their keybinds a bit depending on their hands hand positioning. So if you can come at me, go ahead. That way. Or you can just practice on practice with it later. Not a big deal. So, uh just like start firing. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm getting some sp yeah, I'm getting some spin. Yeah. Not too bad. You got something there. Uh, thing is, you want to roll, and uh, generally you probably want to roll in pulses. So roll, say, 45 degrees, fire a little bit, 45 degrees, fire a bit, a little bit, maybe 90 degrees sometimes. Just mix it up a bit. So because you're using digital inputs, you want to do more of a juke, so a random movement, fire, random movement, fire, etc. Because since you have the, since you have digital key inputs, and because typically you'll be more accurate and be able to get your guns on target faster than anybody that doesn't have a gimbal. Uh, if you want to see someone do that, uh, look at Malagos. He is the best. He is the best gimbaled pi pi uh, player in the game, dogfighting wise. Uh, probably in the last three years, he's always in the top five pilots, basically. Awesome. Uh, very, very good pilot. Uh, pretty decent guy too. But he gets his guns on target so fast and so accurate, it's frightening. So, while they are a size smaller, they're not that useful. So, yeah, like how significant of a jump is that between gimbaled and non-gimbaled weapons? Is it worth the trade-off for a mouse and keyboard user? Uh. It just it depends on your play style. Uh, uh, Green Avengers and Imperium. He's a good pilot. He flies mouse, mouse and keyboard. What I would say is uh, myself, Belial. A lot of the a lot of people that play a lot now are joystick and keyboard are joystick people. But don't 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 be obsessed don't be obsessed with joining us basically. Thing is, it feels better flying. Your flying is so much more precise and controlled. Mm -hmm. But your gunnery is so much better with gimbals. Uh, in the end, I think the two metas in this game will be uh, Track IR with joystick or uh, Homas, which is uh, basically a mouse, mouse and uh, joystick. And so that way, with mouse joystick pedals in certain combinations you can basically end up moving and have the and have the and have the precision of gimbals with track air you can basically use your head your head basically to control the gimbals independently if that makes sense but those I are think so. uh basically there's three uh well the way it works is you either have a something you either have a hat you put on that has some reflective material on it, or you have three infrared infrared LEDs and a recep and receiver, so it uh, basically can track your head through six degrees of freedom, and so you enable and disable certain axes, but you can control your gimbal. You can basically have your head movement become your mouse, and then use that to control your gimbals. Okay. The, because the big advantage is if you can maneuver reasonably well as a as a, joy, as a mouse and keyboard guy. Is that because you have gimbals, your the kill cone, it, your kill cone is so much bigger that you can actually, if you can control your maneuvering so that when we're dogfighting, I'm inside your kill cone, but because I'm I'm fi fixed weapons, mine is smaller. I can't get any hits on you, but you can get them on me. If that makes sense. Yeah, I think so. So it, hard to do, uh, but I would say, I mean, any, I mean, if you want to be a good, if you want to be good at shooting people up in this game there's some skill involved with all of it to some extent and then depending on what changes they make it moves things different ways like right now in this patch uh extra esp or extra uh, extra uh stick precision 
is bugged, it doesn't work quite well. So it means that mouse players tend to do better than joystick players right now. Because ESP is basically a, it's basically a controlled aimbot, for lack of a better term. So it helps your helps uh, joystick joystick pilots not have to be as super precise as a mouse player, basically. Because when they didn't have it, it was it was bad. It's hard to hit anything. Okay. So I mean, you can always turn it off. It just makes it super hard for a joystick player to use. Yeah, is there a reason to turn it off at all? Uh, for mouse players, sometimes it's not as useful. Uh, sometimes it's also buggy and does weird stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, one thing I'm trying to remember: Do you have a Do you have a HUD that's in, Do you have like a HUD that's on glass in your ship? Uh, Actually, no, it's on. Well, there's the stuff in the middle, obviously, and then there's on four different screens in this ship. Actually, sir, uh, actually, just press oh. P, uh, press P, and see if see if it, if another ship pops up. And below your below whatever below your targeting of me. Did that do anything? If you mean those two screens below, I need to like look the camera down to actually see them. Okay. I see something, I think. When I uh, P, it toggles something on and off. Okay, so when you when you P pins a target, you can pin multiple targets. Uh, right now, they've busted the HUD, so it's not that useful. Yeah, it's, it's maybe three pixels tall. I can't read a thing. Yeah, so when it's useful. Uh, just general theory is you pin wingmen so you know where they are because it almost it always gives your distance from target, and you pin the enemy's a the enemy aces. So say someone's so a good pilot like say White Snake or Bayor is running away from you because you have the edge. So they're running away because they're smart pilots. You pin them and then go attack someone else, but you can see how far away they are from you. So if they get within, say, 1,500, 1,000 meters of you, you know they're coming after you probably. You need to leave, leave the guy you're killing and then go on them. Okay. So that, that's a trick when that works. Uh, I think the Super Hornet and a few other ships, it's still, it, that's still useful. Yeah, I wish I had a Super Hornet. That would be pretty nice for that. Uh, if you have enough wreck, you should be able to rent it for uh, Arena Commander. I doubt I have enough rec right now. I haven't played that much, you remember? Oh, no, no, I'm just... I'm, I'm encouraging you to play more, that's all. Yeah. I'm just saying that you can, you can get there. Uh, I look forward to it. I definitely plan on it. Uh, Make then, that happen. And then, uh, let's... How are you at... Are you comfortable with landing? Um, I have not crashed a ship during landing in the last two weeks, if that's what you're asking. Okay. Well, there's a couple landing pads up here if you want to practice, that's all. But, okay, that's probably a good idea. So, basic, basically, you just hit N. That deploys your landing gear. Fly up until there's landing gear nearby. See, I haven't done, I haven't done landing in, in, in free flight in a while. Let's see if it actually gives me a target. Yep. And then uh, hit N again. We'll show up as a target, get close, for the beam is, and... And landed. Yep. It used to be a lot harder. <laughs> yeah, I remember the original landing, I used to blow my ship up every time. Yeah, yeah the intermediate wasn't, was, wasn't, wasn't that good either. <laughs> this, this one's great though. Uh, Is it possible to land on anything that's not like a designated landing pad? Yeah, you can land on anything. Uh, in some cases, uh, something I'm not very good at is uh, combat landings. So you land without using automated landing and do it as fast as possible. To kind of simulate landing on a carrier about ready to make a jump or something like that. But no, you can sort of land on, you can land on, I'll land on the terraformer just to show you. It just requires precision. So you basically... Um, in SCF, I'm in SEM mode to start. Uh, do you know about SEM cruise and precision mode? Yes, SCM is the one you're in normally, precision is the one when you're landing, and the one I just got stuck in, I think my wing's stuck on a lamppost. And then precision, and then uh, cruise mode is when you want to go fast. Mm -hmm. So right now, I am 
Landing on a chunk of the terraformer. Forward velocity is down to nothing. And then I'm just strafing down slowly. Gone into third person view. Deployed my landing gear. And then I'll post I'll post a video I'll post this video myself and then uh, see if Imperium will post it on ours. Kind of pitch to make yourself even and then just slowly land. This is where analog controls on a joystick or ni on joystick stuff are nice. For once, I actually did it. I didn't know that was possible. Landing by hand? No, I mean like on the side of a random thing like this. Yeah. Because I just did it right behind you. There you go. I'm being super careful because I don't want to look stupid. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. You'll be fine. I look like an idiot all the time, man. Who do you think? Who do you think? Someone has to do the crazy stuff to show it doesn't work. Oh my goodness, I'm going into the... Nope. Yes. <laughs> part of me went in, part of me went in. <laughs> but, yeah. And Perfect. then uh, pressing F, I should be able to get out of this. Oh, you just hit me, man. That's not nice. Oh, no, sorry. Uh oh. Oh no. Yeah, I'm so stuck it's, inside. It's not... I'm pressing F and it's not letting me out, which is not fun. Okay. I am just going to. You can generally land on anything. I'll put it that way. I seem to be on fire. Fire? In space? That doesn't make sense. Oh, you're on fire, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be on fire. <laughs> yep. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Okay, so uh, let's let's do. Uh, I'm gonna go back to SCFM mode. And I'm gonna show you uh, one of the, the uh, more difficult uh, orbiting okay. orbiting Steve pitch and thing. Have no guns, so that's fine. There's no, there's no guns in this. You just have to. So what you do is you you do basically your pit. You go like you're doing a pitch orbit around something. You roll 180 degrees and then and then do a pitch turn around and then do a pitch orbit. Uh, don't know if that made any sense. Yeah, so Not you start. Really. Uh, so you you go like you're gonna go over the top of an asteroid. So belly facing an asteroid. Okay. And then as soon as you get as soon as you cross over the top of the asteroid, you do a 180 degree roll and then do a then do a pitch orbit around it. Does decoupled help with that roll or? Uh, it could. If you want to decouple, go ahead. I, I, I never use decoupled. Ever. Well, 99.9% .9 of the time. Like that? Eh, close. Uh, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you it. So, going over the asteroid belly down. 180 degree turn and then boost and boost and pit, pitch orbit and then crashed into it because I straight because I went a little too much. Yay. Uh, worst flight instructor ever, right? <laughs> now nah, you're doing great. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, it's just it's just one of those. It's one of it's one of the your keyboard and mouse. So. It'll, it's a harder maneuver, but it basically gets you used to changing in multiple multiple axes at the same time. Okay. One of the problems with keyboard and mouse is you have five fingers. There are six degrees of freedom. You can't have your fingers on all of them. So you probably... I don't want to know what you're doing with your pants then. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, another 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 move is to shoot through the terraformer hole. So terraformer has a couple holes in it. So just basically go through. Uh, set up your TVI so it'll go through one of the holes. There's no invisible walls. I've been burned by that a few times at Port All Star. Uh, the invisible walls don't have stable locations. Just to make oh, it so <laughs> Yeah, I know, isn't it great? So just it could happen at anywhere at any time. Yeah, pretty much. Usually it happens in the middle of open space. That makes the most sense. <laughs> I have no idea what causes it to be frank. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just head through one of the terraformer holes whenever you get a chance. Alright. I made it once already, but then I cracked oh. second attempt. Oh, sorry, I, I must have missed that. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to do a skidded attack th through the terraformer hole. So you're going to th basically thread your TVI. You're going to thread your TVI through to the terraformer hole. Okay. So your nose, so your nose is not going to face the direction you're going. Okay. And what do you want me to like pretend to attack at least? Uh, no, just just uh, basically, it's it's a way to get your TVI off center, Proximity. and then thread thread it thread it through the thread it through the needle. It's just I feel like I'm taking a driving test for the first time. I'm almost crashing into everything and panicking. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. But see, at least this time you. So, so in general, in general, it's a super unnatural feel because you're pointed, you're pointing, you're going in a different direction than you're pointing. You're looking like you're going to crash into something. You have to yeah, make the t looking. It's, it's totally not going to happen. Yeah. <clears throat> it's it's a hard it's not the easiest thing to do, but if you ask if you're going to wonder where my wing is, I never had it to begin with. Dude, I've crashed. I've I've. If you can get through once, okay. If you can get through it once, and you're a keyboard mouse user, that that that's great. That's great for a first session. Just to let you know. <laughs> what right. it is what it is is basically like that. Yeah, like just like that. Uh, basically, it's the main the reason the reason why it's so important is because when you're mixing it up with people among all the asteroids in this stupid in this stupid map because the asteroid density is super high, you have to understand that you have to thread your TVIs where you have to thread through the asteroids to avoid collision. It's not the nose of your ship. It's not like when you're flying a plane or driving a car. You just keep going forward in the same direction. You can strafe, change your alignment. That's why a lot of players, uh, a lot of the newer players, when you see them trying to ev ev uh, be evasive, they f they fly around an asteroid. Mm -hmm. But they don't understand that you can follow them, strafe a little, and then get enough get enough of a clear clear angle to get, basically shoot shoot the pieces shoot shoot into pieces <laughs> while they're doing that. <laughs> so, because you can just follow them and shoot them to pieces that way, because they're trying to stay as close as they can without using strafe. To put a little, just to make sure the distance is stable. Uh, another thing I didn't mention is uh, it's called boost braking. So I am going. So just stay where you. Uh, I'm gonna st stay where you are. Okay. So so pretend. You're, okay. So you're shooting. You're shooting someone. You're shooting someone like crazy. You're super focused, and I'm firing at you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strafe backwards and hit boost. And doing that slows me down faster than if I just yep. hit strafe back. So, say, yeah, like I said, if you have a really good shot on someone and you know no one's no one's on your tail, killing someone faster is the safer thing to do. So you just hit boost to break. Uh, same thing. Uh, also, say you're in a, you're in a you're in a circle strafe and you're just trying to beat someone. 
Like you're so close to getting your crosshairs on someone. Hit a little, hit boost a little bit. Hit boost a little bit, it'll speed you up. Okay. So yeah, boost basically affects uh, thrusters in all directions. Okay, I thought it was just a rear one. Uh, no, just uh, they're different strength, but boost will push you in whatever direction you're providing an input. So. Uh, through that. Uh, another th uh, another thing is another trick is when you're circle strafing. Uh, when you're circle strafing, what you're really doing is you're orbiting around a common point. If you're the same ships doing the same amount of strafe, it'll be a basically perfect orbit. But if you drop your thrust forward. What ends up happening is you end up orbiting close. You end up, you end up basically, you end up increasing your distance from the orbit point, which means you have a smaller, uh, you have a smaller amount of space that you need to cover. Uh, you have to cover 30 rather than 15 degrees. 15 degrees is is a shorter distance than their 15 degrees to turn around. So you can get get to a point where you can outturn someone. Okay. So, basically, it's sort of like when you're when I when I was showing you how to orbit an asteroid, how controlling your th your throttle, your st forward strafe, is how you control your distance from the sh from the sh from the asteroid. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can do the same thing in a circle strafe when you're orbiting each other. So it's just one way to one way to vary because. Just, the biggest thing is Devin is to have an unpredictable, having unpredictable velocity in all six degrees, in uh, all three axes. And then in that note, one of the things to do while you're circle strafing is, uh, so you're circle strafing. Someone looks like they're about ready to hit you. Your shields are weak. What you do is you just uh, you want to roll about 45 to 90 degrees. Okay. Which makes, which is basically uh, name for that is Rick's roll. So when you do that, you're basically being more evasive. Since you're the one doing it, you're controlling the tempo. You know it's coming. You're a mouse and keyboard guy. You're more precise. You can get your guns on target faster. So if you do an unexpected move before the before the joystick player gets his guns on you, uh, you can basically. They then have to reline up, but you can line up faster. So if you just keep doing that and repeat, you can pe you can basically pepper them to death and beat them up. Okay. Uh, especially with your accuracy, if you can get a couple co if you can, once the shields are down, if you do, get, if you can do cockpit aims, you can get cockpit kills right now. Oh, that's that sounds like a good way to finish something quickly. Yes. Uh, or if you end up going the ballistic route, uh, you can penetrate shields and in some cases kill people faster than that. I haven't done any actual testing to see how quick you kill people in this patch, but basically... Yeah, what's the difference between ballistic and energy weapons? Uh, energy weapons do not penetrate shields. Ballistics penetrate... 40% sh uh, of the da uh, I think 40% of the damage or 60% of the damage penetrate shields. The pl that is not... That is how they currently operate. The plan is to have it uh, be a slightly different. plan is when shields are at 100%, 100% of ballistic damage is blocked. When shields are at 50%, 50% of the ballistic damage is, damage is, is blocked. Sort of like uh, ballistics are Star Trek shields. So the shields don't block everything, they only block part of it. Okay. Energy, energy weapons are more like uh, normal shields where you have to knock them down before you can do any damage with energy weapons. So in the finished product, if the shields at 100%, they're just immune to bullets then? Yes, but if you knock them down at all... Yeah. And then one other thing to note is that uh, shields need a certain amount of time when they're not damaged to then start recharging. For example, I think the saber, if you hit a shield phase, it takes 15 seconds of it not receiving fire for it to start to reach for it to begin recharging again. That gives is that accelerated at all by increasing power to shields, or is that completely separate? 
it's it's not it's not it's not completely in yet. That'll be I'm sure it'll all be completely modifiable, but that's just how it is now. But basically, there's gonna be ways to tweak all of this in game, but I'm just letting you know what's implemented currently. Okay. Uh, so one of the tri one of the tricks they planned on having is so a cap ship. You have say a tiny little ship just hitting a shield face with guns and basically skin dancing on along the shields of a big ship, hitting peppering it with little weak energy blasts to keep the shields from recharging. While the big ships come in and just start whacking it with uh, rail guns, etc. So to keep the shields from recharging. Okay, I could see how it could work. Yeah. So I guess an advantage of small ships in a big sh in a big ship battle. Well, exactly what that'll look like, no one entirely knows. And that is... Okay, we've definitely covered everything in basic. I'm going to double-check intermediate. Well, uh, well, I'm assuming you know how to zoom. Mouse wheel up and down? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, look behind... Oh, actually, one, uh, one other thing you can do when you try to be more evasive is you can strafe in two directions. So strafe, strafe, uh, left and up, not just left and, not just left. Uh, let's see. A lot, a lot of this stuff, quite frankly, is taken from, uh, Legacy Instructional Series videos, uh, so these are not all my own thoughts, and there are additional videos on all of this. So I'll shoot you a link to that if you want to look at that, and also sure, of course, some other things. Anything to help? Oh yeah. Some of it's a little, some of it's a little rusty, rough and old. Uh, just certain maneuvers made more sense when the game, when the time to kill was lower, and other things. So before you spend time trying to learn a really co something really complicated, you might want to just shoot me a, hey, does, is this still useful kind of thing, so you don't waste your time. Okay. But yeah, because the time to kill does seem a little higher than it used to be. It is much higher. Purposely much higher. And that is, uh, what that does is it, is individual pilot skill, frankly, matters less. How well you can coordinate and do focus firing is a bigger... Uh, focus fire and coordination is that is becomes more important. Is uh, because you can't kill someone before their buddy can respawn and come back and kill you. Or yeah. Uh, between that and when they added jerk mechanics, so made most of the ships less agile. Between at uh, 2.0, your ships became less agile and time to kill increased. So that made going through and killing like 20, 20 to 1 when you're outnumbered not really doable. Uh, you can still do 20 to 1, but you need a buddy or you need no one good on the other team. <laughs> Which I saw happen today, so... <laughs> yeah. But if you take three good pilots and throw it against the best pilot in the game, they will crush him. <laughs> There's, okay. That's just how it is. Two, the best pilot in the game probably can make it work, but it'd be kind of an even fight. And that's that's the best versus just some some good pilots. So right now it's just numbers go above everything. Then. Uh, depend at least it de well depends on the skill level. I would say at the good at the good to ace level, but I would say one good pilot can probably kill about can go against five bad pilots and be and fry them, probably even decent pilots. Because usually, uh, bad and decent, bad pilots, by definition, can't coordinate. Decent pilots probably can't coordinate very well. So, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it does. And I kind of have, I kind of have batches. Bad is so completely new, fre fresh off the boat. Uh, decent pilot would be someone who's kind of gone through Actually, the way the way it's set up is that uh, basic flight training. If you kind of get a handle on all this, most of it pretty well, you're a decent pilot. You kind of know what to do. You're not going to make you're going to make mistakes, but you're not going to be you're going to know you make them basically. And then a good pilot is someone that 
um, typically has very good maneuvering skills or gunnery skills. And then an ace pilot, which I would say there's not even probably ten of, uh, is, is very good at maneuvering their ship and shooting. And gunnery. And can do them at the same time. Okay. Uh, where's the intermediate? Intermediate solo. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, this one, this one's rough. This one's super rough. Struggle ship fielders pitched. That's pro. Uh, this is probably enough for now. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'll stop the video.